Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. <laughs> We're back on now about Silver Fox, and you might remember a few months ago we went to Caldwell's Windows in Wigan, and we saw Barry and the team making the windows for now about Silver Fox. So that was brilliant. It was it was fascinating like, yeah, day. Brilliant. If you've not seen the vlog, have a look at it. The uh, the link is up there. Today he's brought the finished windows, and we're going to install them. Here's a clue. We're going to install them on Narrowboat Silver Fox. So we're going to watch how they do them, the kind of bonding process, and how they're all finished and sealed up. This is the primer that we've got to use. Um, obviously, we've cleaned it, put the activator on, uh, done the bus end on the boat, uh, put the primer on. This goes on the window the same as it does on the boat. Um, I like it, it's a bit like a sandwich. So, whatever you do to one, you've got to do to the other. And then you put your filling in the middle, and that's what sticks it all together. So, what does the primer do? Uh, the primer basically, obviously, it sticks to that. It's what it's like the adhesive um, to the bonding agent, so it all sticks together. Without the primer, it'll stick, but eventually it'll just fall off. So it's like a, a three-part system that all goes together. Um, and that's what holds the window on. Uh, cool. It's the same idea as what we use when we're building the window. Uh, it's to stop the frames from coming off. Okay, so this doesn't have to be pretty because you don't uh, you don't see it, but it's just adding an additional coat to make sure that the bonding sticks. Oh, that really stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, is that you, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> so does this stuff? need time to go off or is it more or less instant? Yeah, it's pretty much instant. Uh, by the time we do, uh, we get this on here, by the time uh, we do the boat, it'll all be dry. Within minutes, it starts to set. Uh, you can apply it wet anyway. So if you do get to a point where you need to put it on and then apply the adhesive, it will, it will still cure. Uh, there's no problem with that, but uh, it does. It does dry pretty instantly. Okay, so I'm going to apply the primer to the boat, like we've just done to the windows. Um, this will help. Well, it's what's needed for the um, to get them to stick together. If we don't do this, like I said earlier, they will fall off in time. So we just got to apply this. Doesn't look neat, but it's just got to be done. It's where the mastic will stick to it eventually uh, on the next stage that we do. We put the lines, the tape lines on, so we know where not to go over. Um, make sure that we seal it in the right place. Okay, so next step uh, in fitting the windows, 
is to apply the sealant to the window and then we can stick it to the bolt. Um, so we've cleaned it, we've activated it, we've put the primer on, done the bolts, we've done the windows. So this is the meat and sandwich as I like to call it. So this is what we'll do next. Put this on and then we'll apply each window um, to the bolt as, we, as we've got it all on. Right, now we've sealed the windows to the boat, uh, we have a surface area to work with, uh, as you've seen on your, when I was applying the, the sealant, it goes down the centre, obviously when we press it down it spreads out, now in doing so it won't, we won't get a clean finish edge around the side, so it will sort of scallop its way round, and what we don't want is water going into the edges uh, and then winter possibly freezing which could maybe cause some damage so what we'll do next we'll apply uh, apply a sycophlex sealant in all around the edges to one tidy up um, and most important stop any water or anything else getting behind the glass between the glass and the steel and potentially causing any damage Once it's cured by tomorrow, we'll then use the special foam that we use, which isn't an expandum foam, to reseal any of these gaps that are left and put the thermal insulation properties back in, which will also act as the glue that will bind the internal window liner in place. Leave it clamped up for about 30 minutes and then we can remove them. Right, so for the internal linings, originally you couldn't see them. We drilled pilot holes so we could locate the steel on the inside for the frame. We then hang the solid oak frames to get our lines, jigsaw them out, check the fit, <laughs> which will then, once the windows all bonded in, given 24, 48 hours to cure fully, we bond out the internal liners in. You'll see that the foam's been scraped back to the scratch coat to allow for it, because we don't we chemically fix the window liners in with the foam, which is similar to the foam used to insulate and give thermal properties, rather than externally pinning it to the wooden frame. One of the questions people have been asking us about our windows is, are they too dark, and are they gonna stop light from coming in the boat? It does look pretty dark when you look at it like this, but outside we're in a dark shed, so there's nothing light behind this. So what we're gonna do to show you is we're actually gonna take one of these windows out and we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna see how much it actually does let in. Here we are then, it looks quite dark from here, but when you actually look closely, it's actually all right, it lets loads of light through. One thing we haven't quite decided on yet are the blinds. So I kind of quite like textile, so I like curtains, but I'm not sure whether to have like, is it Roman blinds where they kind of fold down? Venetian. No, Venetian blinds is the slats. That's what the other boats have got. So I think they were on about putting, Rob were talking about putting silver kind of slatted blinds in. All right. I don't fancy silver though, I fancy kind of, Black, because the accent inside is black. Buff. <laughs> <laughs> In the buff. 
Uh, so I'm not sure yet, what do you think? Let us know, drop in the comments below. What do you think, curtains or kind of these Roman blinds or Venetian blinds? I don't or... think we should have curtains. No, I don't. But well, let us know. Hotelling. Just need the bones. <laughs> Showing his. How many vlogs has it been since Sean mentioned bones? Quite a few. It has quite actually, a few. Quite has a few. Actually, isn't it? We actually fancy some really nice bones. So if you manufacture them, if you make bones, we're looking for one that's going to fit this. Obviously, that's going to soak up some condensation. So like a. I don't know. Do they have like a removable cover? Yeah. You, you need something. It's called a towel. I think it is. Yeah. And something foxy. <laughs> So if you make bungs and you fancy making us like a foxy bung, uh, get in touch. Ta -da. All done. What do you reckon? This is one of the portals in the bedroom. It looks great, doesn't it? The glass feels really heavy and the seal is really spongy and soft. It's feel great. the quality. Rob's done a really good job with the trim around the edges. He has done a great job. We just need to finish the seal, but we've got to wait for the bonding to set on the outside before we can do the seal inside. We've left a link to Coldwell's glass just in the description down below. Uh, you can also comment down there if you've got any questions or you want to leave some comments about the vlog. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button if you would. And we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. A few weeks ago, I nearly choked then. And today we're gonna say it properly. Oh, oh yeah, what do we do? Try <laughs> <laughs>